going on? How's everyone doing? Just shout out to you. Everybody else who's cool. Shucky! I didn't say. Eat your popcorn. <laughs> and your Coca Cola and relax. <laughs> anyway, tell Colin. I'm ready. What's going on? This is Colin. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are having a great day so far. All right. I've got a good one. This one's really good. It's out of Albany. Is it out Georgia? I know it's Georgia. It's Albany County. I don't know. If it's I don't I don't know. But it is uh it's night court. It's night court. And we get a lot of characters in this in this courtroom at night. But I will warn you, it's really hard to understand. Their mic system is not that great. I amplified the volume up to about 300%, which is as high as I can make it go. So at some, time, at some points, it's a little loud, and then at some points, it's still kind of hard to hear. I will do my best to, to explain what's going on when you can't really hear what's going on. But this guy, this defendant, man, you... Ah, ah. All right. Before, we, before I hit that play button, you know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe. Do your jump kick backflips. Let's go. What call, John? Can you ask my question? Yes, sir. What? 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 Is that my dad? That's your dad. Yes, sir. That's a good answer. Yeah. Open the time. You're 37 years old? Yes, sir. How much education do you have? Too much, too much education. I, I, I seven degree before I even went to high school, sir. Yeah, seven degrees before you went to high school. A couple, a couple degrees, a couple college degrees. Okay. Where do you work? I work for myself. I got a, uh, I got a company called Ball City Corporation. What does your company do? It does a lot. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of education and stuff. It educates a lot of people how to take care of themselves and how to start themselves when they're sick from all these uh, diseases that the uh, foreign people are putting in us. Is your business working? Yeah, it's working very good. It's very successful. You have your own place? Well, I was trying. I was trying to help my mother and father out, but they they seem to keep forgetting that I ain't got no car and no license. And so they they just they just elderly. They elderly. They look young, but they really they really elderly. He's he's uh eighty some years old, and I'm eighty some years old too. And I just been taking care of both of them. But no money. Oh, uh, I, I, I don't know how you do anything without my. I got money, sir, but I, I've been taking care of them. Uh, um, we need money to survive in America. America, you gotta have a lot of money to survive. Yeah, you're saying you don't have a car and all that, and that's why I have that. Yeah, uh, I don't have a license or a car, and they they got their license and cars. They got their. They got, they got that. That's not that's that's right. Right. All right, right off the bat. This guy has multiple degrees, he says. Multiple degrees. No license, no car. Runs his own business teaching kids how to survive on their own. How to educate kids. Or people. I, I don't think he said kids. He just said people in general. So, tell me this. Would you go to essentially some sort of life or business planner, success training person that lives with his parents, doesn't have a license, doesn't have a car... Yeah, already starting off bad. Already starting off bad for this guy. And I don't believe half the thing he says. I don't think he's taking care of his parents. I don't think he may he may own his own business. But I don't think he's very successful. I really don't. Now, there is a lot of downtime in this video. There's actually a lot more. I cut out most of it. But I want you to see how this guy conducts himself while he's at the podium. Also, while there is a little downtime, check out the... I don't know if it's a prosecutor or a defense attorney behind him at the table. But her, face, her facial expressions are great sometimes. Uh, 
Yeah. Yep, that just happened. That I'm just happened. Huh? Huh? What's up? William. Does uh, Justin live with you on? Yeah. You ever moved out? Yeah, I have moved out before. I'm not okay. talking to you. I said to father. Okay. He moved out before? He moved out to the house to stay uh, about a couple years ago. He's married to four children, but he's separated from his wife. He's married to four children, but he's separated from his wife. To have had a bottle of E and J vanilla, I think it was. And yeah. Well, he told you to pour it out. It's on a half pour, and he told him you to pour it out. And he said, uh, I kept asking you your name, and he wouldn't give it to him. And they found some ID in your pocket with your name on it. Yeah, I, 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 I said I'll pour it out, and then they just they just there. They locked me up. I was said, I said, sir, it was it was in a brown bag and everything. So, sir, I'll pour it out, and they just. Over the car. I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, why, um, I, 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 I why, plan on racial profile. Why, why, why you won't go to the farm? Why won't you take medication? Sir? Why won't you go to the farm? Why won't you take medication? I, I want to order from the um, military not to take that medication. I, I, I take medication with uh, Roman Health Ventures. You take uh, with who? Roman Health Ventures. They take care of me. That's my doctor. My doctor's up there and everything. That's my, that's my doctor. Your doctor. The doctor's with Roman Health Ventures. And where is that located? That's located in New York, sir. That's a that's a that's a that's a pharmacy, a pharmaceutical company way out here in New York, sir. And how do you get to New York to see? Sir, um, I don't have to go to New York. Wait, no, I got a computer and stuff. He's my he's my physician. Okay. That's the only doctor I need, sir. So, sir. Yeah, I All right, I looked this company up, and it's it is an online. It's an online pharmacy. I, I don't know how it works. I've never done that before, but it is a real thing. I looked it up and there's a lot of articles saying, you know, the pros and cons of these types of companies, but they do exist. They do exist. But I want to focus on something. He is under military orders not to take medication. So that was the first thing he said. And then the second thing he said was, oh, I do take medication. I do it from this company that, eh, this guy's strange. This guy's strange. That, uh, right now, that uh, that Aspire place, they need to check that place out. That place is terrible. Well, what I'm going to do then, if you don't want to um, listen to me at this, I'm going to put you in jail for 12 months. You're going to put me in jail? Yep. For 12 months? Yep. For open container? No, for the open container and your history. What's my history, sir? I'm not going to tell you that, but I'm looking at it. Yeah. Well, you're going to have them for 12 months for no reason? Yeah, uh, on each charge, I can get you a maximum of six months on each one of them. I don't want any of that. I'm going to do that unless you listen to me and do what I want you to do. Okay. So you're going to have 12, 12 months in jail, suspended upon, attending probation, going to a spa or some other facility like the spa, and complying with any medication. So, so what that means is I can be 12 months in jail. You can go today, or you can be placed on probation and do what I'm ordering you to do. If you go down and tell probation or try to get your ass you ain't doing, then they take this deal, you said that for a year. And so your choice is to try to do what other folks believe that will help you, even though you may not think it will. And I, based upon your record, the number of times you've been in front of me, and the times I've tried to fix you and get something to help you, um, you have not complied. I understand why. All right, so what's going on right now is, so he's charged with open container. And it sounds like he had a lot of attitude with the police. Um, but yeah, uh, putting someone in jail for 12 months for an open container, it doesn't say if he was driving or not. He's, it doesn't sound like he's charged with driving with no license or suspended license. I don't know if it's suspended or he just doesn't have one. That's not what he's charged with. So he, I'm guessing he was a passenger. So he had an open container, got attitude. 
And just his whole demeanor on the stand, I think the judge is trying to be Judge Dad right now and trying to scare him. And all he's getting is attitude in return. Not, you know, oh, no, 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 no. I don't, I, I don't want to go to jail. He did say he doesn't want to go to jail, but he gave him attitude right back. One reason why, because you don't think you need it. And so you can tell these guys with these guns on and badges on whether you want to go to jail right now or you want to give it a trial on probation first. So. I I don't I I get probation. Okay, twelve months in jail, send it upon seven, twelve months on probation compliant with a five million health or something of that nature and medication compliant. Ten violation. You do the balance of the twelve months in jail and don't bring him in front of me. Just put him in jail for twelve months. I'm glad we got on the panel. Okay. Uh, All right, fine. Again. Y'all got to take a home? Y'all got to take a home? Do I need to say something about y'all so he won't raise here with you all when you get in the car? I mean, something like, bring him back. Let him bring him back. Bring him. I'm okay. Did you love any first? Yes, sir, I do. Are you mentally? All right, so he w the judge was just talking to the parents, you know, because this guy is just full of attitude. He he wants to make sure this, you know, I, I want to call him a kid, but he's 37. But he, he's 37 living with his parents, pretending to be successful. So I'm going to, yeah, I still don't really want to call him a kid. Just acts like one. But the judge is just making sure that this guy does not go off on his parents on the ride home. That's all it is. Um, but this is it. He's going to acknowledge him for about 10 seconds right here while this other guy's up, up there. And yeah, that's it for the video. Until next time, bye. You're disabled or under influence of alcohol, drugs, and medication. No, sir, I'm not. You have a right to a trial, presumption of innocence, right to confront and subpoena witnesses, and the right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir, I do. All right, hold on for a second. Mr. Johnson, yes, sir. I just want to tell you that I talked to your mother and father, uh -huh. and of course, um, my decision had nothing to do with whatever we talked about. Okay. They've been with you for a long time. Mm -hmm. They understand how you act. They don't mind if you stay with them, and they don't mind feeding you and clothing you and all that kind of stuff. Let me tell you this: I've gotten tired of it. They're your mother and father. They're okay. I'm not okay. And so, whatever happened in this case, you make sure the one to blame is me, not them. Yeah. But they've been with you. They're gonna stay with you. I'm gonna have to put them in jail if you don't do right. If you don't do right, and they stand, and you stand with them, I'm gonna have to put them in jail. So you can go now.